Okay, so unfortunately I ran out of space and I was in the middle of recording this, so I'm just going to go over uh, everything I wrote down here so far. So, this is question number 73. Uh, at the beginning, what we knew was the fact that the shark already started below 50 meters, the horizontal. It went up at an incline about 13 degrees, and that it was going at a speed of 0 0.85 meters per second. So, with the information that we know, we are we we're starting off with tangent of 13, or yeah, tangent of 13 equals 50 over L. Uh, I then decided to multiply by L to get L tangent 13. After that. You know, I just divided 50 by the tangent of 13, gotta see that. That eventually gave us L equals 50 over tangent of 13. Plug in the annual calculator, we get that this distance is 216.57 meters. After that, the question was, what is the length of the hypotenuse in this case? All I did was just, you know, 50 squared, 216 point whatever squared equals x squared, give us some number, square root that number, gives us 227.27 meters. Okay, so now I'm back to where I was starting out, is where I last ended up for a ran out of space. And now the question was, how long did it take for this distance to be crossed? Because we know the speed, we know the length, oh, there's a this, bring out the distance. So let me just grab my book again where I left all my actual notes on it. There we go. So I have the actual number on me. So all we do with that is we take 222.27 divide that by 0 0.8 Five meters per second, and that will get us 261.55 seconds. That will be like four minutes and a half, roughly. Yeah, that's how long it took for the shark to actually go up that incline. So, yeah.